Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to DJ Kurt Entertainment, DJ Kurt's video venue review. Today, coming to you from the Tyrone Farm, established, as you can see on the sign, 1742. Here in the back roads of Connecticut, the quiet corner, Northeast Connecticut in Pomfret. Today's wedding is a ceremony outdoors and reception indoors in a barn. Wait till you see this property, it just oozes character. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful proprietors, Annalise and Ian. Like I said, we are literally on a wonderful backcountry road, typical of Connecticut with the stone walls. Not much going on here, but you know what? That's the beauty of it. Quite an expansive property. Uh, many buildings, barn, which is main reception, farmhouse, where our couples get ready. There is a cottage and our proprietors, Ian, and Annalise live on site. Pulling into guest parking. Plenty of parking. Uh, basically, no paved roads here, folks. I mean, this is this is old school. As I said, this is like a, gosh, almost a 300 year old property. And when you pull in, as you're proceeding down the road, you'll see the back end of the barn. And then there is main reception. So when we pulled in, this is the first parking area. And uh, again, you can see the barn there in the distance. Just over to Knoll there is the ceremony area. We'll see that in a moment. And when this parking lot is full, overflow, sorry for the quick scan, goes on the opposite side of a gravel path, and over here are the solar panels. So though it's almost a 300-year-old farm, it's now very high-tech. Just speaking with Bill, he's uh, Ian's father. He's been here since 1951. Uh, the solar power provides 75% of the power to run the entire property, and this is quite an expansive property. Discreetly tucked away behind the trees. Awesome. And as we continue up this gravel path, and there's a lot of gravel paths around here, folks. I myself, first time here, I didn't know which path to take, but eventually Annalise came out and directed me to my loading area. Walking down this path to your immediate right are the ceremony areas. There's one ceremony area. And <laughs> the wedding party, as I said, they already did their first look, having a little fun with the photographer over by a cocktail area. We'll go see that in a moment. Again, at the end of this path, another look at the farmhouse. And as you continue to navigate the path, it opens up into the, let's call it the main grounds. So you have barn house. To the left. The barn. And then, in the back. ceremony area. Again with our wedding party having a little fun. And this is one of the ceremony areas in the garden. And it's really, it's a beautiful garden. We just pan around here. Some nice comfortable benches. Uh, unfortunately today, like I mentioned, uh, it's just uh, just a tad overcast, we'll make that very overcast, but uh, the weather gods are supposed to cooperate and uh, 
clear it up for us now. Over here is the second ceremony area. And uh, that is what we are, uh, are using uh, this afternoon. And we'll get a closer look. And the view here is absolutely stunning. Uh, they're in the process of setting up now, but you have a look out over the valley. Not sure of what the valley's name is. The uh, proprietors here, by the way, Annalise and Ian, uh, also live on site. Wonderful, wonderful, very helpful, very hands-on. So directly behind Farmhouse is a uh, big top for cocktail hour. And that currently is where the uh, ceremony setup is. And then that'll be transitioned for cocktail hour afterwards. So the farmhouse, as you can see, uh, my beautiful couple is here today already. Uh, we're about an hour before start time. And then looking back on these lovely, lovely gardens, and the view from the patio area behind the barn house, or farmhouse, excuse me. Absolutely beautiful. I can imagine what it's like when the sun is out. I mean, you'd probably be able to see for miles and miles. Right now, it's, 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 it's still a pretty nice view. And then, a little closer up view of the big top where cocktail hour would be, quite expansive. I believe the typical function here is about 125 guests, no more. And now we're looking back at the barn, that is main reception. Farmhouse where our wedding party has readied themselves. They did a first look. I mean, it's just such a well manicured, maintained property, so rustic, uh, you know, somewhat similar to the, uh, Wes um, not the Wesleyan barn, but I would say the, uh, in Weathersfield, uh, the name escapes me, the barn in Weathersfield, only on a much, much larger scale. I mean, I hope they have a gardener that takes care of all this. It's an awful lot of work. The mowing alone probably takes a week or so. And here we are, look at the barn itself. The caterers, which is a uh, pransy, are uh, in the process of unloading the rest of the food. We're pretty much all set up inside, so uh, let's go in and let's go in and take a look. So, as you would imagine, very rustic. Uh, lots of uh, hand home beams, uh, even a gallery up top, and it looks like uh, we have occasionally, I guess, live musicians here. Perhaps they do um, uh, dances, what have you. But um, just a lovely, lovely setup. So when you walk into the barn, what is utilized as a kitchen is off to your right. Um, Prior to Ian likes the entertainment setting up in the far right corner. Again, walking into the barn. The restrooms are immediately to the left. There's three of them. <laughs> you have one coming back out. Two. And look, fellas, a urinal. <laughs> okay. 
last minute touches, getting the cupcake tier ready. Tonight's wedding, a sweetheart table. As I said, main DJ setup over in the corner. Center dance floor. I mean, really a very nicely laid out venue, ladies, fellas. I mean, if you get the chance and you're looking for something elegant and rustic, I mean, this has to be a must stop on your considerations. Looking up above, there are stairs leading up there. There's a lot of, uh, well, accoutrements, you know, old suitcases and whatnot for that, uh, you know, nice, uh, uh, antique uh, vibe, but uh, also uh, some sound equipment up there. So, like I said, I would imagine they have dances and whatnot uh, here. But just a lovely, lovely. And then bar area uh, set up immediately to your right when you walk into the bar, and that's still in the process. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, this is DJ Kurt Entertainment. Uh, DJ Kurt coming to you today from the Tyrone Farm in Pomfret, Connecticut.